We'll start off by creating a new React application called Apollo Hooks App. Next, we'll install the dependencies. We need to install Apollo Client, Apollo Cache in Memory, Apollo Link Context, Apollo Link HTTP, GraphQL, GraphQL Tag, and the new at Apollo slash React Hooks at Beta. If you're watching this video and the Apollo React Hooks library is out of beta, you can just install at Apollo slash React Hooks. After everything has been installed, we'll open the application and our text editor. The first thing we'll do is open index.js and import our dependencies. Here we'll be importing Apollo Client, in memory cache, set context, create HTTP link, and Apollo provider. Next, we'll create a new HTTP link by calling create HTTP link and passing in the URI of our GraphQL API. If you need to send headers to your GraphQL endpoint, create an auth link and set your header properties. Next, we'll create our client variable by calling new Apollo client and passing in the link and the cache property as new in memory cache. If you do not have an auth link, you can just pass the HTTP link as the link property. Finally, we'll create an Apollo app component, passing in the client as the client into Apollo provider. In react-dom.render, we'll replace the app component with our new Apollo app component. Next, we'll open app.js and import GQL from GraphQL tag and use query from at Apollo slash React hooks. Next, we'll create a variable called query to place our GraphQL query. In the app function, we'll use the useQueryHook passing in the query to return the data and the loading state from the query. We'll check to see if the data is loading, and if it is, we'll return a message that lets the user know that the data is loading. Finally, we'll map over the items array returned from the query, returning the item name and item description.
Next, we'll run npm start to launch our app. When the app loads, we should see our items rendered to the screen, and when we refresh, we should see a loading message.